By the time Conrad was just four years old, he had discovered athletics. And instead of putting his energy into running away from his mom, he focused it exclusively on baseball, basketball, soccer, and tennis. And by the time he was 11 years old, he was an exceptional all-around athlete. And at the time, his school announced they were going to have the special guest speaker at an assembly, and it turned out to be the Hall of Fame baseball player, Rod Carew. And Conrad was just blown away. And so after this assembly, when he got home, it was all Conrad could talk about, and how he, Conrad, was going to be a professional athlete just like Mr. Carew. For many kids, this would just be a phase. But for Conrad, the impression Rod Carew left on him was so profound, he really did dedicate himself to becoming a professional athlete, and he would be successful. He became a professional football player in the NFL. And in 2012, Conrad started nearly every game for the New York Jets at tight end. It was like his professional career was going off without a hitch. But in 2013, he injured his knee, which sidelined him for about two years. He continued to train extremely hard in hopes of landing another contract, but his playing career was starting to look bleak. During the 2016 offseason, Conrad was back home in California visiting his family. One night, as his mother, Mary, was making dinner, Conrad was sitting at the table filling out his driver's license renewal form. And when he got to the section where it asked him if he wanted to be an organ donor, he stopped and he asked his mother, you know, are you an organ donor? And she would say, yeah, I am. And so Conrad said, okay, then I will be too. And he checked the box. And Mary remembers thinking, gosh, I really hope it never comes to that. A few months later, Conrad was working out in a local gym, getting ready for the next season, when he developed a sudden and severely painful headache. So he stepped aside and he called his mom and he told her that he felt this weird click in his head and then he felt this blinding pain behind his left eye. His mother told him he needed to go to the hospital right away. And so that day, Conrad went over to the UCLA Medical Center where they quickly diagnosed him with a brain aneurysm. If the aneurysm bursts, it's fatal about 50% of the time. And for the people who survive a ruptured aneurysm, most likely they will suffer from significant neurological deficits. After his diagnosis, Conrad remained positive and assured his family he was going to kick this thing. But on December 12th, just four days after he was admitted, Conrad's aneurysm burst and he never regained consciousness. Because Conrad was an organ donor, the doctors kept his body on life support and they called the recipients at the top of the donor lists. One of them was a man in his 70s who a year earlier had suffered a massive heart attack and desperately needed a new heart. When he and his wife got the call, they were shaking. They couldn't believe it. His life was about to be saved. So they hopped in their car and they sped to the UCLA Medical Center and shortly thereafter, news out of the operating room was the transplant had been a success. The man Conrad's heart had just saved was none other than baseball Hall of Famer Rod Carew, Conrad's childhood hero that had pushed him to become a professional athlete. At first, the families had no idea, but eventually this incredible link was discovered and immediately the two families bonded. Today, because Conrad's family only lives 12 miles away from Rod Carew and his family, Conrad's mother was given a standing invitation by the Carews to stop by any time she wanted to listen to her son's heart. Just know that I really appreciate your support, and until next time, that's going to do it. See ya.